Okay, so today I had a little unfortunate event. As you can see, it's not in the best shape. But amazingly, it works. Not very fun. Hopefully Apple will repair this for me. But I have to unjailbreak it. Cry, cry, cry. Yep, this sure does suck. Okay, so if something happened to that, to you, something like mine, you're probably going to want to try your chances with Apple. So that was requiring uh, unjailbreaking your iPod, or else your warranty is going to be voided. So to do this, you're going to need firmware. All you have to do, I'll have this link in the download description. Just go down to whatever you have. They even have regular iPod. Just go down here. I have an iPod 2G with the latest firmware. I select that. Click download. Click save file. Do not want it opening with iTunes. And this download will take a pretty long time. So just wait for that. I will pause the video and I will be back when this is done downloading. Okay, so as you can see the download just finished. The file is 278 megabytes for me. Pretty large. By the way, this is a Windows computer. I have just made it look like a Windows, I mean a Mac. So all this is going to be done on Windows XP. Okay, next you're going to need iTunes. Make sure you have your iPod plugged in. So then you just click on your iPod, hold down Shift, click Store to wherever you have the file. In this case it's on my desktop. Make sure you have all your stuff backed up. I have all my stuff backed up onto my other computer. iPod should have a little icon right now that shows a USB cable and then an arrow that is pointing to iTunes. Now you should have the default boot logo which is in Apple. should have a little status bar under the boot logo. This does take a few minutes, so just be patient.
it is interesting to note that I just found out that I have something as a button on my iPod. Fun. I can click the corner, it sounds like a button. Just a random fact. Do not unplug your iPod or else, well, there's no telling what you can do to it. Okay, the process is about halfway done right about now. According to my iPod. Okay, then never mind, it is actually done. Whenever your status bar on your iPod is halfway, then that means you should be just about done. I don't know why, but that's what happened. Okay, now you should not see your iPod anymore. There you go. And my iPod is restored to how it was. You can either restore from a backup um, that's up to you. I'm not going to do that because I do not have any recent backups on here. So I'm going to set up as a new iPod. Continue. And whatever you want. I'm going to name mine. Black Burning Isis. So like this or not, I do not automatically sync my stuff. I like to manually manage all my crap because I have two computers. And then just hit done. There you go. Your iPod should be restored right now to default settings. No SSH, no Wi-Fi, no nothing. Oh, okay, Wi-Fi. But no SSH. If you're using Total Commander, you will not be able to use that anymore because of the protection. And right now, just put on a few things on it, a couple applications, some music. And if you're doing this to get it repaired, just send it on in, and they should do it for you. Okay, thank you for watching, and 